Hello and welcome to another video on how to draw, not, this, not a bird this time, but how to draw animals um, during the coronavirus lockdown. And uh, a friend of ours has contacted us knowing that um, I draw lots of cows and here's a picture of a Highland cow, a Highland cow. Uh, I live in rural Perthshire and certainly a few of those around here. Um, and cows are a much, much loved uh, creature. So uh, I think my friend's right. Let's let's draw a cow. So I'm going to start with my um, hard pencil again. I'm going to draw a a circle this time, not um, not an oval as I've done before. And the first thing I'm going to do is draw an oval on one side and an oval on another, so that we've got what looks like a kind of alien's face. And I'm going to put another oval in the middle, which is on its side. So up, up. Looks like a very strange kind of, um, I don't know what it looks like actually. Um, but anyway, there we go, we've got this kind of strange shape. And inside this oval, um, I'm gonna do is I'm gonna imagine a little comma on one side, a little comma on the other side. And we're gonna try and keep this as symmetric as possible. Uh, and then we're gonna put in like a frowny face at the bottom of the circle, like so. So we've got like a, what's beginning to look like quite a, kind of a sad individual, but uh, hopefully you'll see in a moment's time that it's not quite so, quite so sad. So I'm going to scoop in a uh, little U underneath, uh, and I think we're nearly there. Well, not obviously not in the picture, but uh, I'm going to turn these into upside down commas, like so. Um, and cows always have like these, um, I didn't quite know what they are actually, but they, they have these little straight sections here. Uh, we're going to add uh, a pinched up shape like so. We'll do the same in the middle. Uh, and then, yeah, we're beginning to look more cow-like, so that's good. So Highland cows have kind of big, scruffy noses. Um, and uh, we're gonna have to do some shading. Um, Try and give some kind of perspective to our cow. Uh, and we're going to add an eye in. So I'm actually going to go quite high up for this eye. Um, quite a large, friendly looking eye that appears in there. Um, I may not do both eyes, and actually, usually with Highland cows, I tend to cover one eye up um, because um, I don't know, it just adds something kind of um, artistic, I suppose, to it. Uh, they're not always visible, the eyes on, on cows. Um, I've got these scruffy cheeks on, on either side. Now, I've got quite a large um, ear on our cow. One ear here, one ear there. Uh, and depending on the mood of the cow, um, uh, you either have the ears in front or behind the um, in front of or behind the horns. Uh, generally, I draw the horns okay, up like so. So it's got to stick out a bit further than the ears do. And so that'll do for one. And I'm going to go to the other side now. I'm finding this difficult because normally I move the piece of paper around. Um, and uh, try and make sure that they're similar size because cows are pretty well matched, but it does depend slightly uh, whether our cow is um, looking at us straight on or not. I'm going to make that slightly smaller, yeah, slightly smaller, uh, and I like to give them a label. Uh, and there's the label in the ear of my cow. Uh, H5 is the cow that I, I, most of my sketches are based on. That was the number the cow had. Um, in its ear. Uh, I have no idea what's happened to that cow. I think I probably do know, but I'm going to pretend that I don't. Um, and we've got all the makings of a, a cow there. So yeah, I think we can we can probably sketch that in. So um, let's make up a number. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm Leslie Kent, so I'm gonna call mine L K. Uh, not that I'm a cow. Uh, not want to be. Anyway, let's move on. Uh, I'm going to get myself a, a dark pencil now. This one's a 4B. I've just randomly selected it. 
Uh, and as I normally do, I'm going to start with the eye. Now, what I have noticed with Highland Cows is they've got a very, very large pupil. That's the black bit in the middle of the eye. Um, and they have these big, dopey, friendly eyes. Um, there we go. Whoops, just snap my pencil. Um, hopefully that'll be all right. Yeah, that's going to be fine. Uh, and there we go. So does that look a friendly cow? As cows go, I think that's very friendly. And I've added uh, probably a bit too much eyelash there. The next thing, I'm going to ignore that, uh, that uh, eye on the left, which is actually the right hand eye, of course, for the cow itself. And now I'm going to draw my upside down comma. But I'm going to make sure that I focus my black on that inside bit of both of them. And they're going to try and make the, these commas as symmetric as possible. Of course, the cow may not be looking it straight at us. And then I'm going to add the rest in, but it's all about now trying to give some kind of three-dimensional texture to our cow. So I've not lent on it quite as much. The dark section to the nostrils is on the inside each time. Uh, and then to give some depth to this, I'm just going to shade like so. Uh, and that's good, we've got kind of a muzzle of a cow there. Uh, I'm going to end that with a slightly shaded underneath the, there we go. Ah, that's good. Um, I'm going to add his chin, its chin, sorry. I think this is actually a female. There is some rule about the horns, but uh, I'm not sure whether I believe it or not. So we've got a scruffy looking chin. And there's an overhang of hair here from the bottom lip. It carries on both sides like so, dangles over a bit. And what we should get is lots of kind of hairiness. Uh, and that's what it's all about with the Highland Q is lots and lots of hairiness. Now, what I quite like is they've got this centre parting that kind of goes up here. And you can already see now that the, the, the nose of our cow is beginning to stick out of the page. Um, so I'm going to shade like so underneath our centre parting. And uh, that's looking quite cow-like. So I think it is anyway. Uh, and hopefully you agree and that in your drawing of the cow you're getting the same thing. So I'm going to make it quite dark here and this is where you suddenly realise why I added these ovals inside the face. Uh, despite the fact that um, they're not that significant to the actual drawing of the actual cow, um, they've given us something to shade in because this is a dark section. Uh, underneath all this lovely hair and the important bit here is that for this sketch you are adding the, the top hairs first because that means you'll know um, what not to draw Oops. Uh, what not to draw in a few minutes time um, so top hairs come on first so I'm going to put some of my kind of swift or swafty hair, I don't know what the word is there, but this kind of sweep over uh, of hair. Uh, and I, I do like the fact that quite often these cows have this kind of crown on top of their heads. Um, there we go. Uh, and scruffier the better, because uh, I think we're all probably aware that Highland cows um, have an awful lot of hair. Um, right, let's add an ear in. Um, scruffy as it goes and shade underneath to kind of show a bit of depth. Right, horn out, faint in the lines the better. I'm using too hard a pencil here to really do faint lines, but I'm trying to do everything with minimum pencils so that you can see how uh, to draw this cow um, just on a minimum of pencils. Scruffy back. Scruffy front. Right, let's go to the other side of our cow. Again, remember, always do the bit that's at the top. Uh, some scruffy hair around that. L, K. Um, big ear, quite happy with that. Yeah, that's big enough. 
scruffy underneath like so and now we're going to start swishing some hair in there so nice sideburns on our cow it kind of cuts in in the middle uh, I feel like my cow needs more hair up here now I'll try and match it on the other side um, because it could be windy we don't know what the weather's like for our cow um, yeah I think I'll put the impression of an eye in there but now the hair is going to go across like so and just lots and lots of hair because uh, these are beautiful scruffy beasts. Um, they work really well in oil paints. Maybe I'll do something on, on oil paint for anybody who might have oil paint available to them uh, because uh, the more times you let it dry, the oil paint and the more hairs you add, the more effective your cow becomes. Um, maybe I shouldn't be telling people how to paint. Otherwise, nobody would ever buy my pictures. Okay, so um, I'm going to just lean across here and, whoops, that's too thick, and go, there's my horn. Does it matter if it's exactly the same as the other one? No, it doesn't. I'm going to shade the underside to give some shadow. And, I don't know about you, but I'm seeing a nice scruffy highland cue. Um, I think I could do just a bit more on the muzzle. Other than that, I'm quite happy with that. From a sketch from memory of a highland cow. I hope you enjoy drawing something just a bit different. It's not a bird. It's definitely a well-loved British animal. And anything else I add to that is simply me playing around with shadows, trying to make it look scruffier. Sign it off. There's your work of art. I hope you've enjoyed the video and I hope you've learned to draw something just a little bit different.